Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial for ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in the previous tutorial, I taught you about creating a fake Gmail website and it's not only about Gmail, you can go ahead and create any such website that you want and it you can go ahead and create any account that has login page inside that. So it won't uh, need uh, have any problem. So social networking side, uh, but there is something different from social engineering, which is social networking sites and social networking sites are online services platforms or sites that allow people to connect with each other and to build social relations among people the use of social networking sites is increasing rapidly example facebook myspace linkedin and attackers may you uh, take advantage of these to grab sensitive information and these sites allow people to stay connected with others to maintain uh, professional profiles and uh, the companies may post information such as potential partners or they will create fake accounts uh, and uh, they will try to gather information uh, from you via social networking websites. So for an attacker, these social networking sites can be great sources to find information about the target person or the company. These sites help an attacker uh, to collect the information uploaded by the person or the company and attackers can easily access public pages of these accounts on the sites. To obtain more information about the target, attackers may create a fake account and use social engineering to lure the victims reveal more information for example the attacker can send a friend request to a target person from a fake account if the victim a victim accepts the request then the attacker can access several uh, even the restricted pages of the target person on that website so social engineering sites can prove to valid information resource for attackers so this is just one part and uh, of how they can go ahead and use these uh, your profiles against so the hackers can also go ahead and use what you upload what you update your status against you so let's say for example if you want to try to get into your computer access some website or insert keylogger and if, if you are some let's say manager or something like that and if you post something like today i'm in um, this this uh, state enjoying over here then he may come to know that okay you're not in the country uh, country or you're not in the state he may come to your house or if he's some kind of random let's say burglar he may even try to go ahead and rob your house so next time you go ahead and update any status, you need to know what information that you're updating and if this information can be harmful for you. And the actor, uh, attacker can collect all this information with the footprinting process. And if these are not the only thing, there are several other things that a hacker can use against you. I have taught you about Facebook, how they can go ahead and use their own statuses against you. I can say the same about Twitter. They can even use your LinkedIn profile because LinkedIn profile shows your whole biography, where you're working, at what time you're not home, which time you're going into the office, when you come back from the office, what work you do. So, and from how many years, so the attacker, attack, attacker or the hacker can use these information against you. If that's not enough, then we have YouTube also, which can give out information. So uh, they can check which are the most websites you have visited, how many views you uh, go ahead and watch, how many videos you watch, what kind of videos you watch. And if uh, he sees that you like to watch a lot of videos about small kittens, then he may send you a same uh, virus or a Trojan or a backdoor uh, via mail stating that, oh, this kitten is so cute. And you may go ahead and try to download or click on that to watch that. And when you go ahead and try to run the video, uh, it may just be a normal video that you see, but in the background, it may transfer a virus to your PC, which your antivirus or your AV might not be able to detect. And he will be inside your the computer. So uh, YouTube allows you to. Uh, YouTube is also a website that allows you to upload, view, and share videos. And the attacker can search the videos related to the target, and he may collect information from them as well. So tracking users on social networking uh, sites. So in order to protect themselves, uh, yourselves from fraud and attacks, people with little, little knowledge about internet crimes may use fake identities on social networking website. In such cases. You will not get the exact information you need about the target user. So determine the real identity of the user. You can use tools such as get someone's IP or IP grabber to track someone's real uh, identity. So I'll show you an example or where you can get and my IP test and just static IP test .com slash static pages perfect perfect so you can go ahead and try this tool to get information about this person notice there are three fields over here link for the person 
uh, redirect URL and link for you. So to get the real IP of the target, copy the generated link of the link for person field and send it to your target via chat. Enter the URL you want uh, the target to redirect to do uh, to in the redirect a link over here and open the URL present in the link for you field in another window uh, to monitor the target's IP address and the additional details. So by doing this, you will get the real IP address of the victim and I don't need to tell you what a hacker can do if he gets your real IP address. So these are some concepts uh, of uh, footprinting threats, methodology, tools. But now comes the part of footprinting countermeasures. How we can go ahead and uh, save themselves. So there is a program in which you can go ahead and gather information. But just gathering information is not never good enough. You need to go ahead and save this information in one place so that when you save this information, all of these things connect. Let's say the domain name system, the IP address, what you do, where you go. This all will interconnect and give you a final idea as to what to do. So yes, there comes the most important operating system that we have as of now would be Kali Linux. And we have a tool uh, named as Maltigo, uh, which uh, I'll just go ahead and open it. This is one of the best tool that, uh, that was ever created because it goes ahead and gives you out or uh, it goes ahead and saves all the information uh, that you need and it will give you out uh, any you can say as a proper way of to, to gather information i have not i'll just go and register create a, a random id later on and i will register but as of now i'll just go ahead and show you so this is the um, how it looks like you can go ahead and open a new one and start gathering information about any person that you want over here uh, you have uh, Chain updates available later on. No, no, no. Okay, so uh, as you can see, that uh, this is the Maltigo carbon that I'm using of uh, Paterva. Paterva is the community that supports Maltigo. I can go ahead and uh, uh, take a look as to where I want to entity selection or I want a single person's link. I can manage and organize different uh, information. So <laughs> Maltigo is a program that can be used to determine the relationship and real world links between people, groups of people, companies, organization websites, internet infrastructure, phases, documents and files. So Maltigo is an open source intelligence and forensics application. It can be used uh, for uh, information gathering phase of all security related work. It is a platform developed to de deliver a clear threat picture uh, to the environment or to the organization that owns and operates. It can be used to determine the relations between persons and companies using the domains, DNS systems, DNS names, net blocks, IP addresses, documents, files and many more. So there are, there are different tools similar to that but this is the best one that I have come across and yes. So there are different tools such as www.domainpunch.com and Maltico is also available for Mac users as well if you wish to download and there are other footprinting tools such as Web Data Extractor, you can go ahead and visit their website if you want. So I'll just go ahead and show you these websites. So the uh, web extractor. Okay. So this is the website and I believe they have started selling these things. But you can always um, get uh, a free version by using the torrent and even you have uh, the non-pro version which you can do a lot of things without that. And this is just a um, simplified user interface and has Unicode support whereas this does not. So it does not make actually uh, a better one so you can anytime use the normal version and without supporting it. But I would ask you to go and support this because yes that's what we need. So. The different tools I told you, uh, prefix, who is, net scan tools, pro, tc trace, anonymous scanner, dns digger and a lot of additional tools are there online which you can go ahead and check. And uh, yes, that would be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll be starting with uh, more uh, with practical examples by using the Cal Linux and its tools and uh, how we can go ahead and use this information uh, to go ahead and attack a specific user. 
But before I start with that part, I would like to introduce you to some footprinting countermeasures so that if uh, you are the target yourself and someone is targeting you, then how do you need to go ahead and save yourself? Uh, so you could do that anytime by starting to configure routers to restrict the responses to footprinting request. You can lock the ports with suitable firewall configuration evaluate the limit and evaluate and limit the amount of information available before publishing it on internet or website and disable the unnecessary services you can prevent search engines from caching a web page and use anonymous registration services you can configure web servers to avoid information leakage and disable unwanted protocols you can even use an ids that's intrusion detection system to that can be configured to refuse suspicious traffic and you can pick up footprinting upon them so that you will know who the attacker is. You can perform footprinting techniques and remove any sensitive information that is found under uh, your under your system. So there are uh, footprinting measures. You can set uh, apart internal DNS and external DNS. Disable the directory listing and use split DNS. Educate your employees about various social engineering takes because uh, there is a famous quote on that that you can go ahead and patch a software or a system but there is no patch for human tendency or human stupidity. So no matter how much uh, secure your environment may be, there always these are always people. So you need to train your employees as to how they can be targets to social engineering attacks. Because even if you patch your system, if your employees are weak, then uh, any hacker can easily gain access to that just by talking to your employee. And always um, have multiple uh, passwords to a particular uh, important system and always use the TCP IP and IPsec filters and always configure the IAS against banner grabbing so that it will be easier for you to go ahead and save your information and the attacker it will find he will find it hard to go ahead and uh, try to ac get access to any specific thing that is related to you and the final thing would be footprinting via penetration test and that I would be starting with the next tutorial so this would be it for this tutorial in the next tutorial I'll be showing you all these things which I taught you yesterday and day before yesterday I'll be teach, uh, putting that inside one Cal Linux and I will teaching you I'll be teaching you as to how we can go ahead and use that so that's it for this tutorial let's take a look at next tutorial now